Now to a story getting a lot of attention on social media. This is video of police arresting a Winston-Salem State student in class. Police say the student got into an argument with the professor and refused to leave. WFMY News 2 Sydney Moore spoke to students who were there. This 20 year old Winston Salem State student is facing a misdemeanor of disorderly conduct. The students I spoke to say they are concerned with the way the situation was handled. Tajamara Russell and Daisy Ayana, two Winston Salem State University sophomores, say they were in class Wednesday to present group presentations. Then they say a classmate, Layla Hamoud, and the professor got into an argument. She's like, Did you see what I said about your paper? Layla's like, I did. Did you see what I said? And Layla basically told her, like, she didn't agree with what she said. She did not have time to rewrite the paper. That's when students say things got heated between the two. The teacher started yelling at her, telling her how it was her class. Layla did get loud back. Another faculty member heard the conflict and called campus police. The officer came in to speak with the two. Students say the professor insisted the police officer pull Hamoud out of class. The cop and professor then went to the hallway to talk and came back with a second officer. He is listening to them, you know, converse or whatever. The teacher is at this point going back and forth with Layla again. Students say the fighting continued with both wanting apologies. At this point, the officer starts to arrest her and the viral video picks. It was just a verbal argument that got out of hand. The university chancellor sent this statement in part, we understand that the weaponization of police is a prevalent problem in our community. However, that is not what happened in this incident. We strive for a safe, inclusive, thriving, and intellectual community. The students say they were disappointed by the way things played out. I wanted to arrest her. It's just like, you see this on the news all the time. So it's like, to see it happening in your classroom is like really disappointing. I reached out to the university's communication director. She said they have strict procedures for classroom management and all those processes were followed. She says there has been no change in the professor's work status and they are continuing to review the incident. And I also reached out to the student involved in this incident, but I have not heard back at this time.